Hello, welcome to this course titled AZ300, Microsoft Azure Architect Technologies. In this episode, I'm going to cover what this course is about, as well as introduce myself. My name is Jeff Brown, and I'll be your guide as we work through this course learning about Azure. I have worked in the IT industry for just over 12 years now, primarily working with Microsoft technologies such as Windows Server, Exchange, Skype for Business, Office 365, and PowerShell. I've achieved certification from different vendors such as CompTIA, as well as Microsoft's MCSA and MCSE. I've also completed the Azure Administrator Certification, as well as the Azure Solutions Architect Certification, for which this course is designed to prepare you for. I'm an avid National Park visitor and hiker, and this picture was taken at the top of Observation Point in Zion National Park. If you want to contact me about this course, you can find me at my blog at jeffbrown.tech or on Twitter at Jeff W. Brown. Feel free to reach out if you want to discuss this course, certification, or any other IT topics that are on your mind. So the existential question, what are we doing here? My course objective for you are to learn Azure and to prepare you for the AZ300 exam. We're gonna do this through lecture involving some slides and whiteboarding, but primarily I'm gonna have lots of demos for you. Microsoft is adding more performance-based testing on their certification exams, meaning you are given access to a real Azure portal and are required to complete several tasks. My goal is to show you as much as possible on how to work in the Azure portal so you can be prepared for this portion of the exam. If you're watching this, you might be wondering if this is the course for you. If you are planning on taking the AZ300 exam, then you're in the right place. This course is going to lay the foundation for your studying to help you achieve this goal. However, if you're just an IT pro looking to learn Azure or preparing to transition your career to the cloud, don't worry, you're still in the right place. This course covers the basics of Azure to get you started. While you may not be using Azure today, cloud computing is gaining in popularity every year and having foundational knowledge in this area is going to prepare you for this transition in your career. Some prerequisites for this course include basic networking, such as how subnets are designed and understanding technologies like VPNs, virtualization and how it works in a cloud computing model, security, like best practices, such as least privilege access and role-based access, identity technologies like multi-factor authentication, federation, and single sign-on, and governance so we can manage our resources and spending in the cloud. It will also be helpful if you have access to an Azure subscription in order to follow along with the demos and for practicing for the exam. Microsoft offers an Azure free account that provides a $200 credit to explore Azure services for 30 days, as well as 12 months of several free services. You can find and sign up for this Azure free at aka.ms slash Azure free. You can also check with your company to see if they have an MSDN or Visual Studio subscription that has $150 a month credit for you to use. This course's modules and lessons are designed around the objectives found in the AZ300 exam, including deploying and configuring infrastructure in Azure, implementing workloads and security, creating and deploying applications, implementing authentication and securing data, and developing for the cloud and Azure storage. If you've never taken a look at a Microsoft exam objective page, let's check out this link below to see more about what we will be learning. Here we have the reference page for the AZ300 exam. If we move down the page, we will find the skills measured section, which has the same five topics that our main modules will be built on. For this first topic of deploy and configure infrastructure, we will focus on subtopics such as utilization and consumption, storage accounts, virtual machines, and networking. Each skills measured section has its own set of subtopics and we'll be covering almost all of them. That does it for our introduction. Coming up next, we're gonna dive into the first topic here where we discuss what is cloud computing. Let's get started and I'll see you in the next episode.